Semicarpus anacardium is also known as marking nut because it's used by washermen to mark clothes for identification. The fruit of this plant is the marking nut. It is the nut is basically black in color and it has a thick pericarp and roughly con cone shaped. While the juice is brown, acrid and oily. The active principle of semicarpus anacardium is semicarpol and bilavanol. I hope I pronounced that right. The signs and symptoms of semicarpus anacardium poisoning will depend if the lesion is local or by ingestion. The uh, if the nut is rubbed locally it will cause irritation and painful blister formation. These blisters will have an acrid serum with which this false bruise can be tested in the lab. There will be an eczema like eruption and it will resemble a bruise and it will later ulcerate and slough off. The juice is less irritant but if the dose is increased it will form blisters in the mouth and throat. There will be severe gastroenteritis, dyspnea, cyanosis, tachycardia, coma leading to death. The fatal dose is about 5 to 10 grams and the fatal period is from 12 to 24 hours. The treatment will depend on the mode of exposure. If the juice of the marking nut is ingested, the treatment will be symptomatic like that for all irritant poisons. And if the marking nut is rubbed locally to form a, a bruise, then there, will, there should be a washing of the area with water and soap and local liniments should be applied. Postmortem appearances will be the same as clinical findings and the blister fluid should be preserved to test in the laboratory for confirmation to know the cause of death for sure. Marking nut has been used uh, to cause abortion via an abortion stick. It is also used to form an artificial bruise and support a false charge in somebody but can be differentiated from a real bruise. It can be used to cause conjunctivitis mostly in prisoners and in army or navy personnel when they want to have a leave and go home and fake illness and its juice has also been used uh, with malicious intent to cause vitriolage.